When it came time for Javante Smith to book a birthday celebration trip with his buddies from their native Cleveland to New York City, they quickly realized it made more financial sense to party in Manhattan and sleep in Jersey City. No, we're paying 600 for the total. We were here for like three nights. The, the price difference in value is insane. The short-term rental company's presence here on Arlington Avenue in the city's Bergen Lafayette section represents half of a heated debate over Airbnb's future role in the city and its economy. Residents are set to weigh in at the polls next Tuesday by either supporting or voting down a resolution that would limit how many rooms and buildings property owners could rent out on Airbnb's popular website. Even though he's staying in an Airbnb, Vionte Fruit is not opposed to more regulation. In any economy, you don't want anyone to just monopolize an entire market completely. Um, so I think there should be certain government lim limits, not something too extreme. Downtown Councilman James Solomon, who's pushing hard for the resolution to regulate Airbnb, argues the company's presence is driving up costs for ordinary Jersey City renters and homeowners alike. A lot of people would argue that it's not the number of Airbnbs in Jersey City that's driving up rents. It's the high-rise yeah. apartment buildings that are along the water where it's, you know, $25, $2,600 a month for a one-bedroom, $3,000 for a one-bedroom. That, that's the problem. It's both, and that's the thing is you can't address one without addressing the other. It's also just about the idea that people be buying up brownstones and just turning them into these types of, um, you know, kind of units for rent. But the president of the Jersey City chapter of the NAACP says voting yes for the resolution would undercut the efforts of hardworking property owners. We do not have enough affordable housing, so there has to be other ways for, for uh, you know, homeowners to subsidize their income. So if this resolution passes, it's really owner-occupied property owners who would enjoy the benefit of still being able to take advantage of Airbnb, but they would not be able to do it permanently. They would not be able to do it for their entire property. There's a lot at stake here. Voters, residents here in Jersey City go to the polls on Tuesday. We're live in Jersey City tonight. Jay Dow, PIX11 News.